Okay, so um, basically this is going to be a tutorial uh, to show, well mainly for my mate Jeff, um, to show how to sync up drums and synths properly um, within Free Loops uh, Studio 8. Um, first off, the thing, first thing you want to remember is you need to have uh, this window here open. Um, it took me a while to actually figure out how to use this window, but this will be your most important tool right here, is the uh, playlist window. Uh, if you haven't got it opened, the best way to do it would be to go to View, uh, and over here, you've got these. Make sure you've got playlists selected, because that's going to be the main thing that you use to make sure everything's things up properly. Okay, so the way it works here is that these things here, these patterns, they uh, kind of work with this pattern here. Now, if you higher this number up, you can see that this is highlighting different aspects of the playlist window, um, which is good because it shows you that this one that you're working with here, that corresponds to that line by there, and so forth. See, so pattern 5, pattern 4, pattern 3, pattern 2, pattern 1. So what this allows you to do is you can use different ones here. So say I wanted to have an introduction here, which would just be four beats like that. You could have that for as long as you want there. Uh, make sure if you want to preview what you've got, make sure you've got song uh, selected because it'll play the whole song in the playlist here, and uh, it plays across like that, like a normal song. So that's your basic B, and then you put on to say pattern two, and you could have I don't know. Uh, actually, this makes it a bit longer. Oh sh! I forgot how to do this now. Um, Okay, well, so you got that for example. Uh, you can change the beat up a little bit and claps, uh, put a hat on every single, every second one there. So the pattern will sound like. And then you can put that there, and that's your pattern too. So when you play the whole song, it looks a bit like. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can hear that, but that's basically a different pattern, different sound. And what I tend to do is I put the synth and bass lines in a separate pattern, which means that I can interchange them whenever I want. So an example would be, uh, let me just stick in Vanguard here. Uh, let's put in version 2. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but... Right, put that in piano roll. Well, that'll do for just the purpose I'm going to show you. Uh, and then you can say, well, you'd want an introduction here. And then say then maybe here you only wanted a drum fill. But you can interchange them, and that's the, that's the beautiful thing about it. So you've got... drum fill there. And then maybe I just want you know the simple zone because it's pan three. There it is on the zone right there. And back into the drums again. So uh yeah, as long as you uh, figure out how to use the playlist editor, that'll be your main tool in actually synchronizing everything up properly and um making sure everything fits well. Um, another important thing that you want to know is that here, this helps you uh, how to align things together. I, I always, well, I usually have mine set to beats because then everything's uh, aligned to these beats here, see? So I, I can click anywhere in this beat, but it'll automatically snap to the nearest, to the nearest beat. But you can change that. So say you wanted the, for some reason you wanted it to come in slightly early, uh, it'll snap to that beat rather than, well, to that particular uh, B rather than the whole bar, but I usually have it set to 
beat or step because then everything's in blocks and it's easy to sort out. So um, I hope that will that helps you out, Jeff. Um, you know to maybe synchronize your drums a bit more with your sense because you've got some brilliant ideas and this will just make it all come together so well. Uh, just to recap, make sure you have underview playlist selected. You definitely want that. Make sure that that is set to beat and make sure that you as well you use these uh this pattern number here to put drum and synth and bass lines in different beats so and then hopefully it'll all come together perfectly and uh, I also hope this will help out anyone who's having problems synchronizing stuff in fruity fruit loop studio a so thank you very much for watching and uh good luck.